Guys, am I the only one actually excited about iOS 26? Yeah, with liquid glass of course. Many people are so allergic to liquid glass like I observed on X and Threads. But then like I've used this for almost two weeks now on my Labrat iPhone and there are many features I actually like. I'll tell you guys one thing. Apple actually brought some thoughtful features to iOS 26, believe it or not. We will talk performance and battery in a moment, but did you guys know that now when you dial someone with the inbuilt dialer or even FaceTime and then the person picks up the call, the phone does a kind of haptic vibration feedback kind of stuff. To me, that's a very thoughtful future. Yeah, I know it has been on Android forever and it has been long overdue on iOS. You can now get autofill on your keyboard from your OTPs. Previously, you could only do that with inbuilt messaging and mail app. That's Apple Mail. But now, even WhatsApp OTPs and OTPs that come through Gmail are able to show up on your keyboard for you to instantly access them. That's a very big future I am very thankful about. Of course, there is the privacy concern because everyone is thinking, how is Apple able to access the stuff in my opinion it is probably through the email notification itself but then it's the same way apple has been accessing the other otps in the apple mail so it's not now you should begin to worry about privacy you should have done that back then let's just leave the mystery alone and enjoy the convenience what do you say i also love the new animation that represents the liquid glass design when you get notifications yeah there is this kind of jiggle and bounce the entrance of the notification animation does and it's very nice you can see it side by side with how it is on ios 18 yeah trust me i had gotten very bored with how notifications appear on ios 18 and i actually wanted apple to take advantage of a dynamic island to bring notifications right i mean not only me thought of that but this is still better than nothing in my book so on the non-dynamic island bearing iphones when you use the battery indicator that's the battery icon without a percentage you now see it's kind of rounded it's now rounded like what you have on the island iphones yeah for some reason i was very obsessed with the round battery icon i remember i used nuggets and kawabunga apps to do it on my testing pro max back then now that i have an island iphone i feel kind of worried that i don't get to actually enjoy the round icon when i didn't buy the island iphone forgive me guys i am just too weird i know i also like the full screen album art on the lock screen yeah i like the way it actually animates itself and occupies the whole lock screen it's like a little step further from what we had before where the album cover just should but i don't know there is something about the uh, symmetry of the album art with respect to the lock screen i kind of prefer how it was on ios 18 yeah but then when it goes into the full screen mode i actually prefer the full screen animated lock screen album art on ios 26. many of you will probably be wondering like performance and battery life in my honest opinion on my iphone 12 which is very prone to bugs if iOS 26 actually means to kick his ass. It has been equal in terms of the Geekbench comparison I did between iOS 26 and iOS 18. Negligible differences as a matter of fact. So performance is definitely equal but then the battery drains like 15% more. But honestly this is still better because how the first developer beta of iOS 18 was was a lot worse and then you have to factor in the new design language they brought many people think that takes a lot of battery but actually to be very honest it doesn't really do anything special because the battery just drains a bit faster than usual it's not all that mind-blowingly fast i would say beta 2 beta 3 public beta 1 and co i see very good news coming honestly i feel like this is going to be one very nice ios 26 when they are done by september the only buggy part that's so obvious is the newly redesigned camera app of course you can't really blame them redesigned and first developer beta very normal anyways let's all make use of the feedback app when we have serious complaints not ranting on x